over Florida and adjacent waters, we've had this uh, low pressure in the upper atmosphere, and that continues to drift off toward the west-southwest, and we think there's a pretty good chance that this might develop a circulation once it gets out in the Gulf of Mexico, but we won't know about that until tomorrow, perhaps, or the next day. Now, to the east of that, uh, north of Hispaniola and east of the Bahamas, we do have another area of disturbed weather, and the reconnaissance aircraft is going out there right now to take a look at it. Right now, we don't see too much indication of the circulation there, but we'll see. The rest of the Gulf, just about free of clouds, as you see there. Cluster of clouds here in the northwestern Caribbean, but no kind of organization. Now, as we turn our attention to the Pacific, we have quite a strong hurricane here. This is Hurricane Terry. Top winds 105 miles an hour. It's moving now toward the northwest at about 7 miles an hour. We expect that to continue. It still seems to be building a little bit, so it could get even a little stronger than what you see there. And just to the west of that, not very far away at all, we have a depression. That's almost a storm. Top winds 35 miles an hour. And this depression is just kind of drifting around out there toward the north-northwest at about three miles an hour. We'll update you again one hour from now. Now there. channel forecast for you any longer this is glory though it continues to move toward the west at about 20 miles an hour the good news is though that we don't see any indication at all in the last two days that this storm is picking up any strength it's still 1200 miles east of the leeward islands it'll be about three degrees before it gets over there we'll continue to watch it carefully it won't be any big deal unless we do see a strength in that possibly could happen the next day sort of mixed up with the front there so we're gonna forget about Fabian Gloria, well, this not really too well defined, this storm, is it? In fact, uh, just new information just in, the center is going to be located a little bit farther north, so we'll have that update for you in just a few minutes. So if you're tracking it, you're going to see a little bit of break in continuity. It's up at about 17 and a half degrees now, as opposed to the 15.5 that we had on the previous advisory here at noon. It's still moving toward the west, and we still believe, though, the conditions downstream here would favor some strengthening. So we're going to be watching that very carefully and see what happens in the next couple of days. Still a couple of days away from the island, so not going to affect anybody except ships at sea for the next two or three days. In the Caribbean Sea, it's just beautiful weather there, just about free of clouds entirely, nothing to worry about there. As we look over Florida, though, we see still massive areas of showers. and Finding its name is Gloria, and Fabian, if you recall, yesterday has and its demise it has uh, begun to get mixed up with a, a frontal system well out into the Atlantic. It really doesn't pose any threat to any land mass at all. But we're still watching a couple areas of cloudiness right across the uh, Bahamas and also around the state of Florida and, of course, Hurricane Terry in the Pacific. First of all, here's like a tropical storm of glory. It satellite picture doesn't look nearly as impressive as it did a few days back, but we're going to have to keep an eye on this. It is uh, having some problems with the elements in the upper atmosphere, so to speak. We really don't expect any rapid development of the storm over the next uh, 24 hours. We have Gloria out here. Let's talk about that for just a minute. This storm has had really a hard time to maintain itself for the last two days. It's been in kind of an unfavorable upper air pattern, but we think it's running out of that now. And as we look at the satellite picture, we can see evidence that this is becoming a little bit better developed as it continues on toward the west at about 15 miles an hour. It's still a long ways away from any land, as you can see. It's uh, more than 11, well, it's 1,150 miles east of uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, continuing to move toward the west. Now, this storm is going to get in reconnaissance range tomorrow for the first time. So there will be reconnaissance planes beginning tomorrow morning, fly out there, and they'll let us know just exactly what we do have, and we'll certainly keep you posted on it here at the Weather Channel. As we get on farther toward the west, the beautiful weather. The Miller, it continues to move to the west at 15 to 20 miles an hour, really showing those signs of strengthening, but we are going to watch it because it is... Uh, 
continuing to move toward warm water, taking a look at the eastern Caribbean. The hemisphere. We've got actually both east and west. Let's start in the east with Tropical Storm Gloria out of the tropical Atlantic. There is the location of the tropical storm itself. And just to get you oriented, here is San Juan, Puerto Rico, and back through the Leeward and the Windward Islands. Now, as we look at Gloria on our chart, if you're tracking it on your hurricane chart, it's 18 degrees uh, north and 54.5 degrees uh, to the west. Uh, it's moving uh, now to the west at 20 miles an hour, continuing that brisk pace. And the maximum sustained winds are now 40 miles an hour. And again, that's roughly about 750 miles to the east of San Juan, Puerto Rico. It is getting into areas which may further enhance the development of the system, favorable conditions back in towards the uh, Windward and the Leeward Islands. So we'll watch it for continuing development over the next 24 hours. But no, it's Atlantic. We have Tropical Storm Gloria becoming a bit better organized. At the present time, Gloria is located about 750 miles east of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Maximum winds are now 50 miles per hour. It's continuing to move west at 20. And for those of you charting it on your hurricane tracking chart, it's located at 18 degrees north, 55.5 west. It's continuing to move in towards the Leeward Islands. Now, hurricane uh, watches are out for the northern Leeward Islands, and gale warnings are out for portions of the Virgin Islands. It's anticipated that Gloria could reach hurricane strength by the time it hits close to the Leeward Islands about uh, early tomorrow morning. So it's something we'll continue to monitor very, very Elsewhere in the Caribbean, things are fairly quiet. There are a few showers over by Puerto Rico. In the Atlantic, we've got this area that the National Hurricane Center has got a reconnaissance aircraft investigating right now, and we'll have a report on that later on this evening. It looks like it may become a tropical depression out that way, as it is showing a... Uh, a uh, little circulation center out there now. In the Gulf of Mexico, they took a look at that and they did not find anything except maybe a lot of cloud cover, but no organized. Better organized. Across the Eastern Caribbean, not much going on. But then we have a tropical depression located off the Carolina coast, 275 miles, is that rather at this point ill-defined center to the south, southeast of Cape Hatteras, 35 mile an hour sustained winds. And this uh, does seem to be getting better organized, too. Just named a tropical depression here on your Saturday evening. May become a tropical storm in the next 24 hours. It's moving to the north, northwest at 10 miles an hour. So certainly, this uh, in the not-too-distant future may be influencing there the uh, coastline of Virginia and North Carolina. And we're going to be keeping a very close eye on that. And the Gulf of Mexico, yet another situation. We have an upper air disturbance here the south, south southwest of La Paz, Mexico. There's our hurricane now. This is Hurricane Gloria. You can see the latest picture of it right in here is the center of circulation. It's been increasing this morning in strength. Uh, we think it's going to continue to do that as it moves toward the west. Right now, the position centered uh, some 200 miles east-northeast of the island of Antigua in the Leeward Islands, and it continues to move now toward the west at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Lowest pressure, 991 millibars, 29.96 inches. It's just 29.26 uh, uh, inches. It's a minimal hurricane at the moment, 75 miles an hour, but once again, we emphasize that it is increasing. Now, as Charlie Welch... Watching Hurricane Terry, there are the coordinates, wind 75, and it's moving to the west-northwest at 5. <laughs> Hurricane specialist John Hope heads the Weather Channel's efforts in tracking and reporting on tropical storms. John Hope, a veteran of 20 years with the National Hurricane Center, watches developing conditions with satellites, radar, information collected from the National Weather Service, and local reporting stations. He analyzes each change and reports storm conditions hourly on tropical update. When a storm reaches hurricane strength, the Weather Channel offers complete coverage whenever conditions change. During this dangerous season, rely on the Weather Channel, your choice for severe storm information. Bill Elias here along with Darlene Perricone, to see by our satellite view once again a better shot of the whole thing.